How's everyone doing? So at what point did, were the Eagles kind of on your radar and you, and you thought that this might be a good spot for you? Um, yeah, when it, when it came to my attention, uh, you know, that the team, that the Eagles won the team that were interested in me, um, you know, I definitely got excited about it. Um, obviously, you know, we, we got everything wrapped up and, you know, just put, you know, my signature to the paper. But uh, from being a from watching from afar, um, everything that, that they're about, um, you know, the, the culture here, uh, the fans here, um, definitely got super excited about it. And I'm just happy to, to be a part of this organization. Um, and uh, I'm ready to go. Miles Sanders had talked a lot when he was here about you guys staying in touch and communicating. So you probably know some things. What, what did he tell you about this organization as he went through? Um, yeah, he reached out and congratulated me. Um, I, mean, I, I got back to him, uh, but it's kind of been uh, you know hectic couple of days. Uh, so uh, after this, probably pick up the phone call and talk to him and see if it was the best spot to live and all that good stuff. Having faced this team as much as you have, what was your perception from the other side? Um, yeah, like I said, you, you know, uh, from watching from afar, what everything this team about, um, you know, what the city is about, uh, and. They have that. They have that mentality. Um, they want to win. Uh, I know everyone's, you know, stuck on, on last year, but you know, being 11 to six and making to the first round, and that's a down year. Um, that's a great culture you want to be a part of when you have that mindset. Where it's like, no, we need to do way more. Um, and I know how special this place is, and I know uh, how special a player that I, I believe I can be, and I'm just happy to be a part of it. What do you say to Giants fans who were hurt by you leaving there? Yeah, um, the, the the fans, the Giants fans that were hurt about me leaving, uh, I got nothing but love and respect for, for all those guys and, you know, all those ladies and just the fans. Uh, for the last six years, they've been great to me, to my family, um, created so many memories, um, you know. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't think I really handled it the right way on social media. I think I could have gave a proper goodbye. Um, you know, like I said, once I announced, everything kind of got hectic. But yeah, I'm forever, you know, forever grateful for the Giants fans, and so thankful for them. Um, and but unfortunately, you know, the NFL is a business, and I was able to get to a a, a, a place that um, I know I can come here, I can compete, and I can win. I can stay close to home, um, and I'm just happy that I was able to, you know, be part of this team. Several times that you wanted to be a giant for life, and you're talking about it's a business. Why is it important in the running back market? Uh, you mentioned guaranteed money a couple of times, tweeting about it. And why is that important to the position to yourself, to the negotiations you had? I don't think it's just important for just to you know the running back position. I think for uh, any player in the NFL, it's important to get uh, the most guaranteed money that you can. And you know, my, my agent Ed did an unbelievable job. Of, you know, that was a task that we wanted to have, and you know, that was a goal, and he got it done. Um, but we play in the NFL, um, not just the running backs, but everybody. It's a gruesome sport. Um, you never know what can happen uh, in this game, so it's important. And I'm just happy that we're able to get that done, and you know, the business side of it is over, and now I can go out there and compete and go try and win. Who on the current roster has reached out to you, and what have their messages been to you? Um, yeah, I talked to KG, um, and I talked to Jalen a little bit. Um, uh, but yeah, those like I said, it's been really hectic the last couple of days, uh, and I'm just happy to you know finally get here, uh, meet everybody here. I'm, you know, I met a lot of people today, so I'm gonna try my best to um, you know remember all the names. I'm definitely going to come back again a little earlier and and, and do it again. But uh, like I said, just extremely excited uh, to be here, and you know, it's a moment and memory I'm I'm never gonna forget, and uh, it's even more special I'm able to do it with my friends and family. As far as the offensive personnel here and the offensive system here, how do you think it could either change your game or unlock your game in a different way? Um, I think, you know, for the point I am in my career, uh, you know, just to be able to get a fresh start is good, something new, um, you know, different excitement. Uh, I feel like I'm a rookie all over again. You know, it's a new uh, team meeting, it's a new strength, it's a new locker room, everything. Um, but also just being around, you know, talented guys, especially on the offensive side of the ball. You got Jalen, you got AJ, Devontae, you know, a, a tremendous offensive line. Um, and you know, I, feel like I'm, I feel like I'm a special player. I feel like I still got a lot left and I got a lot to prove. And um, I just can't wait to get in a, you know, on the field with those guys and, and prove it and show it to the world. You said 
see your family here, what, what does it mean to come back home to close to your roots and, and all the people of Whitehall area and everybody who watched you as a kid growing up playing football? Um, yeah, that's important to come back to everybody that, that knows me and, you know, uh, playing high school football here and playing college football here. Uh, but the biggest thing, we want to stay close to home. Um, you know, it's a blessing that uh, for Thanksgiving or Christmas, I can go right to my mama's house or we can go to Nana's house. Um, you know, my kids is still, my kids can see their grandparents, my kids can see their aunts and uncles and cousins. So uh, that was important. And um, I'm just happy, just happy to be here. I'm happy to, you know, be a field of eagle. After the six, had, after the six uh, years you, you had, had up there, why do you feel like you still have a lot to prove? Huh? After the six years you had up there, why do you still feel like you have a lot to prove? That's just me. That's my mindset. Um, I'm always going to have that mindset. Every every year, how can I bet? How can I get better? How can I improve? Uh, go back, watch the little things, um, learn from my mistakes, uh, learn from the stuff that I, good, good, I did good, um, and just keep leveling up. Um, I feel like that's the mindset that you have to have, um, and I'm going to continue to have here. How important is it for you to be a three-down back? How important is that for you to be on the field at all times in each phase? I pride myself in that. Um, you know, just looking at the history of all the great running backs, um, you know, all of them were able to do that. So I pride myself in that, and that's something I know that I can continue to improve. And uh, whether it's running the ball in between the tackles, outside the tackles, catching the ball, um, pass blocking, all those things that, uh, you know, really make you all da every down back is something I want to continue to get better at, and I'm, 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 I'm going to. They're investigating James saying you uh, talked to Nick during the process. Can you address that at all? Yeah, I mean, uh, Coach Frank and I, I think kind of misinterpreted. Uh, the, it's, this, the truth was the, the sell pitch to Penn State, uh, how many Penn State fans are Philadelphia Eagles fans. But that was through my agent, and my agent told me that. So, um, you know, I got it happens, um, and I'm let the Philly in on that. What are your thoughts you on like, Jalen as a quarterback and things that are possible uh, between the two of you? Oh uh, yeah, watch him for afar. Uh, you know, I know how a special player he is. I know how talented a player he is. Uh, but just talking to him, um, you know, there's a mentality he has, the mindset that he has, and um, you know, it's not just something that you see on the outside. You talk to everybody in this building. Uh, I think they will all say similar things, say say the same things. Um, obviously, he can run the ball pretty well, but just a mindset. I'm big in that. The mindset that he's have, and uh, that's a guy that you want to go out there and 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 play for. The coaching staff has talked about Jalen's contributions to the run game, kind of being like plus one in the run game. I guess like when you play with mobile quarterbacks in the past, how does that help a running back? Yeah, it definitely helps. Um, you put a defense in the bind, um, especially with RPOs. Uh, pick your poison. Um, you know, you can collapse down and take me away, and you got Jalen. And if you want to stick with Jalen, then you know you got me running against a uh, behind a great offensive line. So uh, I look forward to all that, and you know, especially not just Jalen and offensive line, but all the all the talent around it too. A lot of people would look at the number of touches a running back has, the amount that you've had in the last few years and wonder if there's going to be a drop off. Why are you not concerned about that? Uh, because I pride myself in the way I take care of my body. Um, I pride myself in you know, the way I train, um, the way I push myself. And I'm a big believer of you know, learning from the greats and you know, the, the Walters, the Berries, and the, you know, the list goes on and on. I'm not c comparing myself to those guys, but a lot of those guys played into the well, well into the 30s. So, um, no, I don't get into the analytics um, and all that stuff. I believe in the work that you put in is what you get out, and I'm continuing to have that mindset. Can you reach back out to James Franco, like what the head coach? Uh, I mean, I'm going there uh, tomorrow uh, for pro day and uh, talk to some of the uh, some of the guys. Uh, so yeah, I, I guess we'll have that conversation. You, you, you talked about, you talk about Barry uh, in the past. You've talked to him a couple times. Uh, Barry Sanders has he given you advice to? As you become a veteran player, how things have to change when it comes to preparing your body? Yeah, um, I got to talk to him last year in training camp uh, when we, we had a joint practice with the Lions. And um, I was just sitting there all, to be honest. I got to talk to him for like 20 or 30 minutes, and he gave me a lot of great advice and, um, you know, just how to take your body, the things he did during out the week uh, in all season and in season. Um, and, you know, I just take bits and pieces from it and try to add it to my, uh, my routine. The perception has, has often been that the Eagles haven't invested resources in this position. When they reached out to you to make that type of, of investment, what was your reaction at that time? Um, my reaction was, you know, I was super happy that I have an opportunity to come back and, and, and stay close to home and uh, play for a great team and uh, just ready to get the business side of, off, off of it. Um, the last two years, you know, I feel like, 
you know, so many people will come up to me and, you know, about me getting tagged or talk about contract or even leading up to this. And now all that's, you know, that's done. Um, the business side is done and we can keep the main thing the main thing. And that's going out there, um, playing football and winning football games. Were you 100% at any point last year after the high ankle sprain? Why was it so important for you to come back as quick as you did? Uh, that's who I am. Um, and hopefully I'm able to show that uh, to you guys and to this organization and to, you know, the fans and everyone in Philly. Um, that I'm a competitor and I want to go out there, I'm going to compete and I want to win. And it means that much to me, no matter if I'm hurt, no matter what, um, you know, I'm living a dream. I wanted to do this. I was a little kid. Uh, my dad and my mom, my parents, my parents and brothers and sisters contested that, that there's something that I take pride in. So um, no matter what, that's, I want to be out there. You know what I mean? People want to be in my position and go out there playing the game of football. I'm playing a child's game and getting pre paid pretty well for it. So. Saquon, having been on the, the other side of the rivalry for so many years, is it weird at all? Uh, uh, it yeah, it's definitely a, you know, when I when I put this hoodie on, it's definitely a little different. Uh, and, you know, seeing my daughter there uh, put it on the Philadelphia Eagles stuff, um, she, she's seen a, uh, you know, we've been on the worst side of rivalry, I guess you could say, for the past couple of years. But uh, I'm happy. I'm happy to be a Philadelphia Eagle. Um, you know, like I said, I take pride in it. I'm going to take pride in this organization. I'm going to take pride in my community. Um, you know, that's something that I try my best to do in, in, in New York and New Jersey. So I look forward to that. Um, also make an impact in my community. Um, and I'm excited. Like I said, business side of it is over. Um, and we get to keep the main thing the main thing. And let's go play ball. Okay, thanks, thanks. Thank you, guys. You got a question, Jada? What's your question? Don't be shy now. <laughs> Thank you, guys.